What's on your T-shirt? Accord. A C C O R D. What does it stand for? It stands for African Constructive for African Center. Yes. For constructive resolution to disputes. So why are you wearing it? Let me see what it says fully. Save Somali children from hunger. UN Universal Children's Day. Can you explain why you have this T-shirt on? I was invited to South Africa to speak about the plight of the girl child soldier. Mm. So my father teaches at Accra Academy. Okay. And he's the head of visual arts department. So he printed these T-shirts out to be given to other children in South Africa because um, the program in South Africa is about the UN mm. Universal Children's Day. Okay. All and right. it fall on 2011-2011 because 20th November 2011 and it's also on the 20th day and they also need 11 children who are 11 years old. Okay. So you are 11 years old. Yes. And you went to South Africa. Uh, did you make a speech? Yes. What did you say in your speech? Told them about my project and about how to stop the plight of a girl, girl child soldier. Okay. Who invited you to South Africa? I called an NGO there. Okay. How did they get to know about you? Do you know? And through the internet and mm. other companies or media partners okay. who partner with me. Okay, but at 11, um, you are trying to do something very big, something very good, something very help, uh, selfless, so to speak. You are contributing to humanity. But who gave you this idea? It's my own idea. It's your own idea? Yeah. How did it start? Can you tell us? Um, two years ago, I was sitting down That's with my father. Yeah. Okay. Watching news and this international news came up and I saw these small children on TV and I felt pity for them. So I told my father, why are they hungry or sick? And he told me, it's not a sickness, but they are hungry. So then I felt pity for them and decided to raise funds. So once in a while, I asked my father how to sell food to them and he told me, well, if I can send rice or other cereals. So then I decided to use my Easter vacation mm. to raise funds for them. So we started going to companies and other organizations to help me and then open an account. Started going to the media partners, radio partners. And the, the initiative started first, I guess. Mm -hmm. So the first August yes. of 2011. 2011. You, 11. you said you opened accounts. Can you give us account numbers? Uh, the earlier we put account numbers out, the better I believe. Okay. Um, you'd want. Have you had any contributions at all from people? Yes. Because I read that you have six thousand five hundred dollars in pledges. I don't know whether you have actually received that money. Have you? Have they? Have people given you money, yes. or they've only promised to give you money? People have donated into an. I just also pledge. Okay. So have you sent anything to Somalia yet? Oh, no, not now. Okay. If I get my target mm. to be sent to Somalia through UNICEF and World Food Program, and my target is 20 million Ghana CDs. Uh, are you sure you can raise it? Yes. 20 million Ghana CDs? Yes. Okay. So give us account numbers. Which, which banks are these or which accounts do you have? And the accounts name is Save Somali Children from Hunger Project. Okay. And the account number is at Echo Bank. The account number is 001 mm. 303-444-110-4101. Or Afghana Commercial Bank is 10111. Three zero zero three eight zero one six at Ghana Commercial Bank. All right, great. So I'm sure you can see that on the screens right now. That's the GCB account number there, but of course, 
before that there was the Echo Bank account number. And I'm sure we will get that the numbers displayed again. Okay, so that's Echo Bank account, account number you have on the screen right now. Uh, you can send your donation to this account number at Echo Bank. And there's also the Ghana Commercial Bank account. Uh, you can also send your, your, your donations there right now. Record it throughout the show. We'll be having that number once in a while on the screen and you can record it and send the money. So do you know how much uh, uh, you have how, many, how much in terms of donations have been given to uh, uh, you so far for your project? Yes, people have donated inside account, but I don't know how much. You don't know. Once in a while we check. Okay, the last time you checked, how, how, how much was there? Do you know? 400 Ghana CDs. 400 Ghana CDs? Yes. 400 Ghana no. CDs? 400 dollars. Oh, 400 dollars. I see. Okay. Because I was just reading an article which, say, which said for six thousand five hundred in pledges pledges yes, yes. I, I don't know so so there are people who have pledged who have not really made the donation yet yes so um do you know them do you have their names do you know their offices how do you follow up yes do you go to their offices no they pledged to me in addis ababa ethiopia okay when i was going to address the african heads mm. there mm. so i don't know whether they have they have donated Okay. To their account. All right, uh, but they are not Ghanaians. Not all of them are Ghanaians. It's not all of them. So those who are not Ghanaians, you just hope they they, they really make good on their pledges, because yes. then there's no way you can find them. But in Ghana, what do you do? How do you try to raise the funds? What do you do to raise the funds? Apart from appearing on TV, doing interviews like this, what really do you do? Go to companies to support us mm -hmm. in the project. So even some to donate. Okay. And we. Be yeah, I've been having one-on-one -on -one fundraising activity okay. in the Accra was this Saturday. All right. So, me and my friends will be having coupons. Mm. So, we come to you and ask you. Is it tomorrow? Because tomorrow is Saturday. Yes. Tomorrow. Say that again so people can really understand and participate. What are you doing tomorrow at the Accra So, we be having one-on-one -on -one fundraising activity there. Okay. And my friends, not only me, mm. each of them will be having a coupon. All right. So ask you to donate, and after donating, giving a certificate of appreciation. Mm. And also thank you for the support. I see. Great. So that's tomorrow. What time is it? I'm around 11. 11 in the morning. Yes. Um, you'll be at the Accra Mall. Yes. You'll be there with your friends. How many friends? 13. Everyone will be wearing this uh, t-shirt? Yes, the t-shirt. Is there a special reason why you chose this color? No. It's just bright. It, it catches attention. That's, yes. that's the reason you do that. But you can't do this all by yourself. I'm sure your father helps you a lot. Yes. What does he do to help you? He sometimes he uses his salary to help me in transport. Mm. Picking car up and down. Mm. And also writes letter at dawn. And even I'm asleep, that's the letters, and we deliver them to the companies and other organizations. Okay, great. So we are talking about uh, a humanitarian heart extraordinaire. He's only 11 years old. He was moved by the plight of the picture of hunger in Somalia and has decided to raise 20 million Ghana cities to alleviate the hardship in Somalia. That's a phenomenal thing for anybody to attempt to do. I believe it is in excess of oh, somewhere in the region of $13 million or so. That's a lot. He's confident he can raise it.